Guys, I was told I'm gonna be the phone guy. <laughs> this is me now. This is the true me. <laughs> this is the true me, guys. This is gonna be my profile picture. <laughs> So, the last time you guys saw me, I was stuck on like 2am on n night, hard mode. I beat the game, Bruh. and today I'm going to review the game. I did not record me beating any of hard mode, but I assure you, it was hard and there was a new animatronic, well, character I guess. So, let me break this down, alright? I'm going to put this video into like... Three or four different categories. I'm saying all this off script. So, we're gonna have characters, story, gameplay, and that's about it. So, yeah, three categories. And some of them are gonna be very short, and then I'm gonna give my criticism, a bunch of other stuff. So, this is gonna be a pretty cool video, pretty laid back. The first time I'm basically ever doing a review. And here we go with category number one. There are actually quite a few characters in this game, and I think they are all done perfectly. The extras menu especially is really fresh looking. So the first character that we got here is Ando. This is all the, from the extra menus by the way. Here's the leader of the group. He's a male, he likes scaring people, he dislikes flash blings. His relationship, he has Boat as his best friend, Gold Ando as his brother, and Shan Ando as his shadow. Wait, this game has lore. What? She's a best friend. What? She's a female. She likes candy, dislikes bullying, and it's her, her relationships are with Ando. That's her best friend. Then we have Rems, and we do not know what he is. He's a male, he likes dreams, dislikes nightmares, and he has a relationship with Golden Ando as his best friend. I really like these character designs so far, and that's the core three, alright? But there's way more. The next person that we have here is Golden Ando, the little brother. Really, really, he's the little brother. He likes teleporting, dislikes his scars. He's friends with Reams, best friends actually. And his brother's Ando. And Sh Shenando is his interest. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. There's dating in this game. Dating simulator win. Well, speaking of Shenando, Shenando, she's a shadow. She's a female. She likes anything, dislikes nothing. She is in a pretty good relationship with Gonando. Interest. And Exo, best friend. Who's Exo? I, I didn't actually get Exo's character files. Oh, no! Now we have Expired. Expired is dead. He's a male, he likes batteries, dislikes hackers, relationships with Shando as his best friend, and Reams as his creator. Finally, we have Wards. He is a male, and he's who we play as. He loves being alive, he dislikes being dead, and he's friends with Boat. That's all the characters. And no, I did not get that one character that they were even in there. I have no idea who Exo is. So, I really like the character design in this game. Now, it's very simple, but I just love it, and I love the diversity. Overall, I'm going to give the characters like a 8 out of 10. They're pretty cool, except I'm still confused about Shenando and friggin' what's his name? Gold Ando's relationship. What? What do you mean by that, bro? What do you mean? of this game, I'm not exaggerating, is that you just get randomly teleported to Ando's house and you need to like not die. That's the game. This breaks some lore points because it says Boa is our best friend, 
But if we just got teleported to some random peeps, we don't know who Andrew is. Why is Boat there? See, this breaks some lore points, and I'm very disappointed. And for that reason, I have to give this a 0 out of 10. But actually, it's a joke game. It's not going to have the most complicated story. And it's a pretty simple story, too. Here's hoping that One Night at Andrew's 2 can fix this lore issue. Anyway, yeah, very easy story. I just add this so I can chew horn that section in. Ha, I wasted your time. This is by far going to be the longest section on here, so I'm going to try making this as short as I can possible. So let's talk about the music first. The music in this game are all fire, dude. These are all bangers. Yo, yo, yo! Ah! But now for the gameplay. The game? It's a little too easy if I don't say so myself. Yeah, that's right. I think this game is too easy. I, I just might be a pro and the best in the world, but I just think this game's a little too easy. Here's why. I was going through TikTok on night one. All the game mechanics is very simple. There are two ways to stop every single animatronic. It's not a bad thing. You either have to right click to use flashbang in order to get rid of uh, Andro and Bowie, whatever her name is, and expired. But... For the rest, you have to close your eyes. And that's the game. It's really simple. It's really easy once you know the pattern. As long as you have your fear down, this game is so easy. I mean, the music box is overpowered. You can just stay on that camera the entire time unless Shenando's there, or Expired breaks it. Other than that, this game is a piece of cake. The only hard part about this game is definitely the last three hours of night hard. And that is because Expired breaks your music box, and that means you have to just focus on not letting your fear get too high up, or else you die. If your fear gets too high up, you instantly die by any of the remaining characters. Though, I think there can be some ways to make this game harder. All of the characters have a pretty generic past, and pretty generic ways to get rid of them, if I'm being completely honest. Not saying this game is bad, not saying the mechanics of this game is bad, but... I just think it's way too easy, and even way too generic. I mean, there's only two ways to get rid of everybody in the game, and you don't even need to check the cameras at all. Like, I bet you could beat this game without having to check the cameras a single time, and you can just wait it out. The only time I guess you really need to is when Shenando gets into your office. By the way, the bugs in this game, though not too many, when I played Night Hard in my last video, there was a fear kept going up. That wasn't actually supposed to happen. I just got a bug. And there's also a bug when you pull down the camera. Sometimes you'll still hear Shenano's goofy. Even when she's not there. So, I don't know, man. This game isn't that bad, but the mechanics, they could do some weird works. Hopefully, one of Andos improves this. And this game isn't bad, and it's quite challenging in Night Hard in the last few hours. But other than that, this game's alright. I give the mechanics, gameplay, like a 6.2 out of 10. A Day in the Week at Andos is a really, really solid Final Freddy's fan game. Though only being one night, well technically two, this game is still really fun. Of course, there's some downsides, like the mechanics being very generic, this game kind of being easy, and no save data. This game is still a blast to play, and I'm pretty excited for the sequel. Of course, the sequel will probably be better, as, you know, they've learned from their mistakes. This game's really good, the art's solid, the character's solid. I definitely recommend you give it a try, because even though all the negative sets of things I said about the gameplay and stuff, this game still doesn't deserve that, and it's a really, really good game. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. I can't believe I forgot to mention this, but I also forgot to tell you that, basically, there's no phone calls in this game. The only help that you get are these little signs. Hopefully, the second game can improve this, because I was confused... I just guess most of the time, and the gameplay is still going to seem the same though, because I did figure it out shortly, but dang, I'm really going to need some help. Like I said about the phone guy, no, I'm joking, that was just a joke segment. Unless...